incredibly dry, let's slip inside this pretty much perfect celebrity palace and see what riches we can unearth. In other words, let's go through the keyhole. Well, as I enter through front door into hallway, which is akin to a hotel lobby, I'm immediately struck by the wild leopard print staircase. There's also the wild zebra skin umbrella stand and the two wild things at either side. Above me is a light feature which resembles a saggy ball sack, unlike mine, which is very firm and ready to make children if I do meet the right person, which could be any minute soon, I guess. Anyway, over here is a lovely couch which has a great view of the front door if you want to wait for the mail. <laughs> Over here is a side table, which is a touch too far away to be of any use. So, because um, I'm good at interior design, I'm just going to bring it a bit closer there. Oh, yeah, you can reach something now. You can thank me there. OK, Richard, prepare the camera for a really cool entrance into the next room. Nice one. As I enter this exotic, sexy bar lounge area, I'm bamboozled by its sexiness. It has the sweet pong of the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, just um, boiling some beans for the crew. I've popped a bit of bacon in there to give it more texture. I, I, I do enjoy cooking, but I won't harp on about it. Very good, though. OK, whilst we're in this all-American kitchen fit for an all-American fit girl or boy, let's eye up some clues. First of all, there's four bar chairs which are perfect for friends to pop round and make a cameo. Anyway, over here, there's a bossy box with mom-like instructions on it. I respect that. Just check out this double-breasted fridge. What a pair. It's the biggest I've ever seen on Keel. What's that noise? What's that off? Please, Shit. Please, please, please. Don't film this. Don't film, don't film this. I'm, I'm supposed to look like I can cook. Don't, don't film this. I'm... There you go, guys. <laughs> Saved it. Thanks, thanks, thanks Keith. Keith. You're the best. best. Don't worry, it's nothing. I'll get you some plates. Just cut to me somewhere else, hanging out, being a super awesome guy. <laughs> Hi, you join me here in the homeowner's office where I can well imagine them making some eye-powered air appointments. In fact, this room has the air of an air theme about it, kind of. There's um, a skull, which doesn't have air. There's um, a goat that has more air. And there's a picture of Slash from Guns With Roses, who has even more air. Or suggesting a person that is famous for having air. Air so lovely, I can... Imagine walking past them in a corridor and sniffing it. Not weirdly, out of appreciation, I mean. Yeah, long, magnificent, bouncy air. <laughs> OK, back to me, ideal boyfriend material, Keith Lemon, in the studio. Did I mention that I'm good with kids? Oh, I'm so good with kids. We'll be going back to me in a minute, but first, for you guys at home and our studio audience, but not our panellists, don't turn around, otherwise it'll be defunct. This is whose house it is. Don't turn around. This is whose house it is. <laughs> the sound of the audience clapping is what you want to hear tonight. The clappier they are, the happier you are. Okay. Um, I saw you writing things down on your notebook, so yeah. show me your workings. What, what, what are you thinking? You started off talking about being by the pool and you were talking about skin care and being fit and healthy, so I'm thinking maybe it's somebody who takes their sort of fitness and health beauty regime quite seriously. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Especially as you were cleaning your crotch. I thought that might be indicative of somebody. No, no, OK. <laughs> what are you thinking, Franca? I mean, like, I wrote notes, but purely because they were writing notes. <laughs> 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 the only thing that I was kind of like, when you went into the house, there was lots of sparkly things and lots of animal fur. A lot of animal print, wasn't it? I kind of felt like that that's quite feminine. <laughs> okay. It's like really yeah. over yeah. yeah. 
Jonathan, <laughs> I've studied uh, and I thought long and hard. You started, there was the music I recognised, it was from a Bond movie. Mm. And, yeah, and then you, <laughs> Keith Lemon, were auditioning for the role of Bond <laughs> and uh, not really getting close, so that I think there must be a Bond connection somewhere. Um, yeah. And wasn't that an amazing house? I mean, it, it was, was a beautiful house. The swimming pool, I thought, it was, I thought you were in a theme park, first of all. It's nice, isn't it? Having I mean, your own lagoon. It was amazing. <laughs> so, uh, you know who was the Bond girl, uh, briefly? Grace Jones. Grace Jones. Was in the Bond movie. Obviously not. No, it's not no. Grace. <laughs> Grace Jones. So, we're looking for someone who is not Grace Jones, who is connected to James Bond. And someone with hair. And someone yeah. A woman with, with hair. hair. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> OK. Let's go back through the keyhole. Hi, welcome back to Los Angeles, the city of angels. Fast angels, it's so pretty, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> I do have a sensitive side, but I'm also hard as nails and can protect my angel. Anyway, let's get back inside. Watch those pins. Keith, do you want these shorts above the knees or below the knees? I'll have them above the knees because it's very hot today. I'm going to clear off. <laughs> Just having my trousers altered there. I'm very fashion conscious and I enjoy shopping. Unlike most men, I do a bit of shopping with the ladies. Anyway, here I am in the top of the range wine cellar where you'll find two wine vending machines. And if I troop over here, we find these sci-fi-like chairs which wouldn't look out of place in a starship. And that could be a clue. And just check out this sheen on this silvery wall. Perhaps the homeowner is into sheens, or maybe they're not into sheens. I just can't keep up these days. I'm pretty much known as a wine connoisseur myself. Um, that's another one of my very attractive qualities, but I don't want to boast about it. OK, let's have a quick clues recap. This Victor's Flip LA abode is stuffed full of clues. Is There's the plethora of glamour and riches, the connection to the big and small screen and an affinity with hair. So go figure, panellists. <laughs> Obviously, this VT has shown a lot of different sides to my amazing personality. Vulnerable Keith, cooking Keith, considerate Keith. <laughs> what a fantastic house. I'm sure some people would give the world for a house like this. Is the world enough or is it not enough? Is that a clue? Here it is. So who would habitate in a house like this? Back to you guys in this studio. Do you think I come across illusional? Delusional. <laughs> First. What, what, are you, what are you thinking? Yeah, I, I think they've definitely got kids. Which, no? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe... The maybe first person they, that they, they might not know. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's kid. Is kid, it kid? Yeah. One kid? You've got no... You don't know why you... I don't know! I don't know if they've got kids! It's American kids. lady! I don't know! Um, so, but there were definitely more clues than were you. Cos I know yeah. you noticed when the woman said, Denise, yeah. you looked at me funny then. And so, is Denise a clue? <laughs> yeah, well done. You pulled, the, um, you pulled the star out at one point and you said something about a starship. Both um, yeah. Jonathan and I started twitching at the thought of starship. Because the film we think it might be is if it's Starship Troopers, that's an amazing Brilliant film. Brilliant film, it is. Starship that's an Troopers. amazing film. Yeah. Do you know what it is, Frankie? I know who it is, but like, I'm, I'm sh crap with names. <laughs> <laughs> that's not great for this show, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, you know it is, don't you? Ben does. There We've you all come to a consensus. Yeah. We think it is Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what we agreed, Jonathan. Or if not, who do we think it is, Frankie? Denise Richards. Yeah. That's correct! <laughs> Hollywood megastar, the woman of my dreams, Denise Richards! <laughs> We're going live by a satellite now to Denise. Denise, Denise! Yes! Denise, I miss you! <laughs> oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> I miss you, too. I'm glad you got to enjoy my pool. See, Jonathan? <laughs> See? Denise, was he, Denise, he thinks he's in with a chance with you. You might as well just put him out of his misery now. Well, 
I find him very charming and adorable. Wow. 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 <laughs> Which is go. a nice way of saying no. You fat ginger. <laughs> Denise, yours is one of the nicest houses um, I've ever been in. It was just as good looking as you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the black toilet, Denise. I was very taken uh, uh, with the, You have a toilet that's black. Who's, it, who's the inspiration behind that? Whose idea was that? Who's the inspiration for a black toilet? What yeah. sort of question's that? I've never seen, I've never seen a black toilet before. That's the not? weirdest oh. question I've ever heard anyone yeah, ask. <laughs> yeah, the crapper. Why is the crapper black? <laughs> Well, the bathroom's all black, so I didn't want to put a white crapper in there. I put a black crapper in there. Quite white. Quite white. Good answer. Good answer. There you go. Denise, do you know who Ben Shepard is? Yes, I do. What the? <laughs> I'm telling you, tell you, Siki. Denise, do you get tipping point in America? I don't believe so. No. Oh, ben, sure ben how would you explain <laughs> tipping points to Denise if she's never seen it? Well, Denise, uh, it's, it's a high-concept uh, intellectual challenge uh, <laughs> that we place before uh, competitors that are fighting out to win a lot of money by answering uh, cerebral questions on all sorts of topics, from politics to uh, geophysics. <laughs> it sounds good, doesn't it, Denise? Sounds fun. <laughs> 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 Denise, let's talk about your movie career. You star opposite Piers Brosnan in James Bond, uh, The World Is Not Enough. How, how did that come about? There you are. I auditioned for it and then flew to London on Thanksgiving, actually, and screen tested and got the part. <laughs> you played a nuclear physicist um, called Dr Christmas. What's the basics of nuclear phys physicists? Physics. <laughs> physics. Who knows? It was all about the shorts I wore. Yeah, <laughs> boy, you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> Denise, I can't let you go without talking about your famous cameo that you did in Friends. You famously swished your hair around. <laughs> Remember when she used to swish her hair around? Yeah. And, and Ross would be sort of... Do <laughs> you, you think you could give us a hair swish so we could um, all have a... <laughs> moment? <laughs> Are you going to slow the camera down for a slow Oh, mode? yes, 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 we are. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. You're lying here next to me. Denise, um, everyone who comes on Through the Keyhole <laughs> does receive the Through the Keyhole keyring. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> it's hard to get the box through, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it through. I'm gonna pass it through now. Here it comes. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> And there's this leopard print lamp here, which is big enough to swing on if indeed you're into swinging. <laughs>to Denise Richards house and, and we learnt that her house is as fit as her very fast indeed fit as flip Ben Shepherd you present tipping point you must earn loads of money from that show is your house as nice as Denise Richards it do sadly doesn't have Denise Richards in no it does have my wife in who's lovely yeah, I was obviously <laughs> that, that, that was nearly a tipping point in your relationship <laughs> 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 well, you correctly guessed whose house it was. Let's see if you can do it just as well as we go through the keyhole again. Yeah. We're yeah. going to Broad, we're going to Spain. <laughs> Hello, I've come to sunny Mallorca to go through the keyhole of this four bedroom villa where today we're not actually going through the keyhole. That's right, boys. Is any of you familiar with the phrase 
Stagosaurus Rex, because today we're not shooting the VT wins, we're gonna have a stag party for this boy! Stop it, don't make me cheat. I don't want to be a cheater. Sneak it, stop it. Yeah, we've got to start the VT, mate. Oh, what's up? What's up? We'll start the VT. Oh, man. Oh, my head's killing. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, yeah. Welcome uh, to the Balearic Island of uh, Mallorca. I'm coming through the keyhole of this beautiful four bedroom villa. Come on, Wens, wake up. What is your professionalism? <laughs> come on, let's tidy this place up. Matty, come on. <laughs> oh, God, let's try that, man. Oh, As you enter the property, you immediately find yourself upstairs rather than down. It's ass over tit, which is probably how the homeowner prefers it. And it's already apparent that this place is fit for a high-powered businessman or woman. The place is perfect. The animalistic vibe is rife in this gaff. It's like you just stepped into Rainforest Cafe. Let's check out the beastly bits and beastly parts. First of all, there's this bejeweled horse here. Then there's these expensive elephants that look like they're sniffing each other's bum. And there's this leopard print lamp here, which is big enough to swing on if indeed you're into swinging. Here I am on the stairway. Now, normally on Keyhole, we don't show the stairway, but if you've got it, we'll flaunt it. There's a barrage of black and white photos featuring famous people from the past. You can see there's Iron Man, Holly Murs, my heart skips a beat. Here you've got Elton John with a willy and balls drawn on his head. Eh? Hey? That's weird. <laughs> Look at John and Payne! <laughs> Anyway, this all suggests that Omona is very used to hosting big stars, many of which are men. How obtuse. OK, let's proceed further. <laughs> Big up your chest. I'm down here in the downstairs area, an area I'm sure is very popular with the Omona. This place is access all areas because there's a distinct lack of walls, leaving note to the imagination. Let's check it out. Here I am in the kitchen area, which I'm sure has seen a lot of hot sausage action on account of this extra hot grill. <laughs> a gentlemanly clubby piano area for entertaining guests. <laughs> and this dining area with a table big enough to dance on. we do yesterday can you remember i'm starting to get beer fear i'll tell you what back to you guys in the studio got beer sweats can you see it that is the first part of the vt now I, normally i would reveal to you at home and our studio audience who it is but um, this time you can play along because i get a lot of people on twitter that say to me i want to play along you don't let me play along now you can play along and maybe tweet in and, and, and tell me who his house you think it is, and um, I might not reply. Anyway, um, for the studio audience, but not our panellists, and not for you at home, this is whose house it is. <laughs> Panel, what's your initial thoughts? A little bit like the last house, yeah. you get the sense that this person might be closely associated with some leopard print of some sort. Is that sort of a... Oh. Could they have scared yeah. the lamp Maybe they just like uh, animals. Maybe it's like, uh, I'm going to go for a wild guess here. David Attenborough <laughs> would not be someone I would guess. No. <laughs> well, I was thinking, is it someone British? <laughs> so you think... All the people in the pictures were British. Yeah, 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 you yeah, think British it's stuff. possibly someone British who is connected to animals? Yeah. Well, but you said they like swinging. It's yeah. not Richard and Judy's holiday home. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's, no. Not, it's not Richard and Judy. So it's someone who's British, British. connected to animals that like swinging. Yeah. But it's yeah. not Richard and Judy. I, I'm afraid you're, you must be wrong somewhere because they're the only two who fit that list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let, let's, let's see as let's we go see. back through the keyhole. <laughs> Welcome back to me, Keith Lemon, here in Mallorca, where I'm in the office of someone that looks like they like to get down to business. Let's have a look around. Over here is an old school square monitor. It looks like it could be about 70 years of age, but it's still fully functional. Let's have a look. Yes, it seems to be all working down there. Regard that this room is still rife with yet more animal print. In fact, there's a scary amount. You could say that Mel B would live here, but that would be a red herring, and I will produce a red herring. But not today, I'm producing a grey mullet, and that could be a clue. Here I am somewhere else, more specifically the guest bedroom where the animalistic theme continues even further. You can see that I'm be seated in this leopard print becushioned armchair complete with the leopard print becushioned footstool. Behold these betasseled curtain tie things on bed. Why would anyone tie betasseled curtain tie things on bed? Kinky pigs. And why do these betasseled curtain tie things ring a bell? Let's go somewhere else. Don't film here, there was nowhere else to walk out the shop. <laughs> and finally, here I am in the master's master bedroom. It's kind of a spunky boudoir, so perhaps a sex dictator lives here. Just check out this four-poster bed with carvings on the side. There must be over 2,000 notches on bedposts. And there's a mirror. There's a mirror on, there's a mirror on the ceiling. <laughs> Maximum respect. And this gets Keith Lemon's seal of approval. <laughs> I don't give the seal of approval out willy-nilly, but a sex mirror on the ceiling, that is the tip. And tits could be a clue. Let's sniff out some clues on the bed. It's strange because this side of the bed smells a lot younger than that side of the bed. And that could be a clue. In fact, this side of the bed smells like whipped cream. And that isn't a clue. Whipped cream. Yes! Oh, yes! Let's have a quick clues recap before I remember all else. Here's a clues recap. Whipped cream. This Balearic Boltol is pimped up to the max. There's an abundance of animal print all over the shop. Tattles on bed and a mirror on ceiling. All this is suggestive of a grown-up celebrity with a very wild side. Here I am in the homeowner's garden. And just check out that infinity pool. Whilst I sweat off the rest of me hangover here in this lovely, bubbly, frothy jacuzzi. <laughs> well, I guess all that's left to ask now is who would habitate in a casa like this? That's Spanish for out. Wens, made you some breakfast. Don't worry, Wens. What happens on Keel stays on Keel. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> What are, what are your deducements? Uh, the uh, grey mullet. That seems like you used to yeah. there. And also, you mentioned, you said the computer monitor was about 70 years of age, so I'm guessing this might be an yeah. older person. Yeah. And then they... I think someone that's quite, like, sexual as yes. well, with the mirror above the bed. It's not uh, something you see every day in the family home, is it? <laughs> In the first part, you said the house is upside down, it's arse over tits. Yes. Uh -huh. And you also said something about dancing on the tables. You kept Table bringing up dancing. business as well, and yeah. I don't know if that was... Yeah. <laughs> very, very good, aren't you? Very good. You know, don't you? You know, you know. We think we, think we do. You are, no, don't we you? Don't. You know, I don't you know. <laughs> really sure. <laughs> Whose house is it, then? Uh, is it uh, Peter Stringfellow? Look. Join us after the break where we'll be talking.
back into Peter Stringfellow, a bolt, Peter Stringfellow, and we'll be going through our final keyhole. See you in a bit. No, I'm scared of theatrical masks. Hi, welcome back to Fruit Kilo! Before the break, our panel correctly guessed that the um, beleppered printed paradise belonged to none other than the king of clubs, Mr. Peter Stringfellow. Please come from Kilo! Peter Stringfellow, I look at you and I just think, you're like me, but a bit older. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Fashion-wise. When you was in my jacuzzi, that's what I was thinking. How, how long have you had that place, Peter? Oh, I don't know, a long time, about 16 years, 17 yeah, years Yeah, yeah. Do, do you go there often, then, yeah? Not as much as I used to do. Now yeah. I'm married with two babies. Yeah. But You've got um, two babies? I have two Congratulations. babies. Congratulations. Four years old and two. Wow. We've got a picture of you and your wife. Let's have a look. There yes, look at that. Uh, Luckily, I'm handsome she's, she's as well, Italian. but she's drop-dead gorgeous, is she not? Jonathan, you've been to Stringfellas when you used yeah, to yeah. be... Well, when I first became famous, I couldn't believe that when you went out, you got in the clubs free. It was, like, the most... Amazing. So yeah. I, I would go out quite probably more than I should have done, and I would go into places, and, and Peter was always very generous. He would always give us free drinks as well, at least for the start of the yeah, evening. But... So uh, we, we'd go there and we'd hang out, and it was but, great but you can be a bit of a raver, can't you? Frankie, are you a raver? I used to be back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much anymore. I'm more like, you know, like them really annoying mum on a loose things now, you know, like where you can tell they don't go out anymore and they like go out one night and they're like, bah! and then by 10 o'clock, them. Um... <laughs> Jonathan, when you went to Peter Stringfellas, how did you dance? <laughs> right. I've got it all from the, I've got it all from the master. <laughs> It, out of all the houses we've done, it's the one that most reflects who lives there, I would say. I like the leopard skin look, you know? I mean, it comes yeah. in out of fashion all the time. It's like yeah, it black does. and white, isn't it? Yeah, Can yeah. I ask but a question about fun. the elephants? Do you love elephants, or is that elephants. just well, a... Well, the funny thing is, not necessarily, no. No. <laughs> They're all over the place. They you are. buy one and somebody says, oh, I've got you this, and then somebody else goes, oh, I've got you this, and before long, you've got 52 of the bloody things. <laughs> <laughs> You and he's got you... pictures of monkeys. <laughs> monkeys, I like. So you, you like got... monkeys, elephants, I am, I, monkeys and more leopards. than elephants. I have a little bit more bonding with the monkeys. Yeah, you... because you like leopards so much and, and elephants and monkeys. I've had this made for you. You can put oh, that there. Oh, fantastic! It, it's a, an amalgamation of all your favourite animals. It's for you, dear <laughs> Peter Street fellas. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you another gift. Another one? Um, sometimes, if you're uh, nowhere near guessing, I will sh let them go through my keith hole. And then when I show them a physical clue, hey, let's go through the keith hole. Uh, we didn't need it because they got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. Mm. Peter String. Fellow, fellow. Hello. Ah, yes. Wait, what is that as well? That's yours. That is perfectly me. Well, we've got, we've, well, turn it that way. So let's have a look at the back side. OK, a well, great ass. So, yeah, yeah. Let, now, let's have a look at this picture. Go on, then. Let, let yes. <laughs> come on. Hey, this come on. 64, 62, and that's not bad. Look at that. Well, it, it, it look, put it back on. It looks like me and Pete... Pe There's Peter, that's me there. <laughs> Going for a walk. Um, it's been lovely, uh, honestly, a privilege Well, I've enjoyed you. it, thank you. And um, okay. I do have the Through the Keyhole keyring for you, of course. It's I a special limited edition one for you. There you go, look at oh, that! Wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel very privileged, mate. That is guaranteed. Here's for everyone! Oh, yeah. Panel correctly guessing it was Peter Stringfellow. Yeah, Let's see if we can do just as well as we go through our final keyhole.
We've come to the north of London to go for the keyhole of this charming urban abode. Let's get inside. Oh, I thought this was the front door. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Oh, no, you didn't. I just said that I did, I did. <laughs> Before we peruse this muse, can I just have um, a little freshen up? Where's Heather? She's behind you. She isn't. Oh, yes, she is. That's weird. <laughs> Let's go inside. Ah, this thing. Oof. <laughs> As I enter the house, um, I see something pink and long. These flamboyantly painted walls certainly belong to a lady or a man. The hallway is bepictured with frame posters from the world of theatre and music. There's even a silver disc for record sales. Yes, that's right, record sales. So we're dealing with someone who's no spring chicken. I've only been in here for a minute and the stuff in this house screams show business. Oh. Show business! It's all here. And what have we got here? It's a theatre curtain. How very theatrical. I can't wait to see what's in here. Let's have some theatre music. It's the washing machine that does non-fast colours at 40 degrees. It's not bad, is it? It's not very theatrical, though. Let's go somewhere else. Cut to me, treading the laminate floorboards into the living room forward slash sitting room. The pink turns to red, a little bit like sunburn. There's more theatrical paraphernalia in the form of these weird masks, which are everywhere. I think they're a bit creepy, that they're, they're freaking me out. So, um, what do you think, team? Ah! <laughs> you know I'm scared of theatrical masks. And frogs. Sorry. <laughs> Our quest for clues is as has brought us here to the garage, where there's yet even more evidence of the homeowner's connection to that mystical land, the 1980s. Regard this poster of the homeowner in a musical with Sandy Toxfic. <laughs> you join me here in the bedroom where the louder than life character of the homeowner continues to shine through. It's like one big dressing up wardrobe in here, full of clothes that are colourful, vibrant, but above all, Bat crap crazy. It's like my wardrobe, but even crazier. In fact, it's too crazy for a clothing montage. I'm just kidding. What would Keo be without a clothing montage? <laughs> oh, that was a brilliant clothing montage team. Well done. It was brief, but it was brilliant. Now, a big clue is that the homeowner is a fan of classic TV comedy. So I thought I'd do some classic TV comedy of my own. Do we have the kind of laughter that we use just in case of emergencies? There it is. OK, let's see if it's working. Um, hey, I've had a wonderful time getting into the homeowner's drawers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this saucy old bag. <laughs> Hey, this is a really good episode. We should put this up for BAFTA. <laughs> that's, not, that's, that's not supposed to be funny. That's not funny. That's not a joke. That's not a joke. Here we are in the kitchen, which has been given a lovely yellow coat. It's really nice. And to show the guys that there's no hard feelings, towards them for laughing at me when I won't say anything funny. I made you all a cup of tea and some biscuits, so go on, get tucked in. There's, there. Oh. 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 Don't laugh at me. That wasn't a joke, guy. It's not to wipe it up with these clothes and get changed into somewhere else. You give me that can laughter. <laughs> ah. Oh, hangs me elbow. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> OK, I'm not going to reveal whose house it is till after the break. All I want now um, from our panel is one word from your observations. Ben, one um, word. Eccentric. Eccentric, Frankie. Old. 
<laughs> and eccentric and old, Jonathan. Elton John. <laughs> eccentric old Elton John. Yes. O okay. Uh, well, let's see if any of that makes any sense when we come back from the break. For you guys at home, here's a few extra clues. We'll see you in three. Panelists gave me one word from their observations, and that was um, eccentric, old, Elton John as one word. Let's see if any of those words make any sense as I reveal whose house it is to you at home and our studio audience, but not you guys. Don't turn around, otherwise I will gouge your eyes out with spoons. <laughs> Don't turn around. This is whose house it is. <laughs> Let's go through the keyhole one more time. Hi, 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 hi. Um, luckily, I found this tatty old maid's outfit to change into cos I was covered in tea. The tea has been cleaned up, so let's now head into... the living room, where the yellow theme continues. There's yellow curtains, there's yellow carpet, there's even a yellow cactus lamp. There's also clues aplenty. There's these glasses here, so whoever lives here obviously wears glasses. Let's try these on. Oh, they're a bit thick, but I think I can still see. Where's my cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit weird, that. Oof. Oh, oh is that a phone? It's the phone. Oh, there it is. You rang the Lord? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Must be blank. Is that, is that the door? Was it the door? I'll get that, I'll get the door. Have a quick close recap. <laughs> I tell you what, Stunt Dummy Keith, we're definitely up for that BAFTA now. Any good looking? This showbiz gap is absolutely packed with larger than life tap from the 80s. There's theatrical memorabilia, the outrageous clothing, and the glasses, all of which had a clue. So all that's left now is to ask who would habitate in a house like this? Back to you guys in the studio. I really liked the house. I mean, it was the smallest of the three we've seen this evening, but it was so lovely and sunny and colourful inside. So I'm thinking whoever owns that house is someone who is kind of upbeat, is quiet, uh, obviously loves life, doesn't take it too seriously, <laughs> is a fun person. Yeah. Must be a fun person. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know yeah. what this is? I'm feeling like it's some sort of panto y kind of, you know. Yeah. I feel like the trolley is something to do with who the person is. And the big glasses, which suited you, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you look good. <laughs> See, uh, ben and uh, Jonathan, you've got to know what it is, huh? Well, I wasn't sure, and then I suddenly saw the outside of the house again, and it dawned on me that I used to live around the corner to this person. No way. That's so... why we knew it was Elton John. Yeah. Because he used to live right around the corner. Me and Elton, my neighbours. Uh, Who is so it, I used, ben? Live, I used to live around the corner to the amazing, wonderful, fabulous, eccentric, and flamboyant Sue Pollard. Yeah. That's correct! Yeah. Lovely to be 
here and thank you so much, Jonathan. What you said about the house, I'm thrilled. Yeah, it's lovely. It looks so bright and sunny. Yeah. And it reflects how she dresses. Yeah. Yeah. It really yeah. reflects yeah. her, doesn't it? Personality. Look, look, look at these pictures. You've got a pink hallway, a red living room, a yellow yeah. kitchen. Yeah. It's, it's like living in a rainbow. And you know, Ben, yeah, we used to pop in and see each other dip down the road. But do you know what tipping point is? I absolutely love it, and I think there it's a go. total swizz. Do you too? I flip and get... What does that mean? Well, you know, come on, just that little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and then, it, you know, and it, it never works, does it? Have you ever won on any of them? <laughs> You're a swizz. Come and have a go on mine, Sue, you'll win. I do hope so. <laughs> You can tip me your point, babe. I'll be fine. <laughs> 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 oh, madam. <laughs> this is Sue when she was in yeah. Heidi High. Hey. It was massive, wasn't it? It was massive. Yeah, instead. we were really lucky because you know what it's like? There was hardly any other stations about. That was probably one of only three at that particular time. And I think, like anything, if you were in a success, it was marvellous. You got about... 20 odd million views every week. So we were lucky to be in a show at that time that everybody wanted to watch and they watched with their families. So, what's not to love about mm. being a, a successful, fabulous, fun yes. show? Yes. Oh, thank you, Dad. There was 20 odd million viewers. What yes. was it like just walking about in the streets? Was everyone shouting Heidi Heidi oh, yeah, all the time? Yeah, Prince Charles came once. So we all stood outside you know, in, that, in, in, the, in the dressing room. And it was hilarious. He went, Oh, hello, isn't it marvellous? <laughs> anyway, I just love the hoodie hi he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you, Sue Paul. I love you. Yes, I love you too, darling. Lovely. It's unusual that someone on the show who makes him look kind of like yeah. soberly dressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was that hat you were wearing, though, that he tried on, which appeared to have two bollocks yeah. hanging off the front of him? Oh, yeah, oh, two bollocks. Oh, Easter fabulous. Bonnet. Easter, oh, obviously, yeah. it's hardly Christmas, is it, with flipping eggs? <laughs> but I wear it every year, yeah. get it off the shelf, and I just really like it. And then it hits people in the aisle. <laughs> I've had five A and E visits, <laughs> not for myself, but you know, poor randoms in the street. You're right, mate. You're <laughs> <a fan>. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you're famous for your glasses. Yes. Um, the character Peggy wore glasses. Yes. So what I've done, I've got you a, a gift. I've got you some glasses made. Oh, how lovely! Uh, uh, the special through the keyhole glasses. Here they are. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I love uh, them. Uh, oh, can I now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shall I put mine? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Jonathan. It's Ellen John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, try them on, try them on. Oh, they're fun. I love them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's <laughs> good. That's a good. Fabulous. Oh, thank you. That's really kind of I've, I've also got something else for you. Everyone on the show gets this. It's the through the keyhole keyring. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. Oh, thank you. So far, everyone. Thank you. 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 Well, that's the end of the show, but what a journey it's been. We've been to Los Angeles, we've been to Mallorca and London. I'd like to say thanks to our panellists. <laughs> but more importantly, thanks to the people that kindly let us into their hats and their homes. I was Keith Lemon for Don't See Fruit Week.